What's up everyone? Thank you all so much for coming back for another video. First, before we get into the video, I wanna say thank you so, so much to all of you who have subscribed. We hit the 1,000 subscriber mark at the time of filming this video. And you know, the only place to keep going from here is up. The marathon continues and I wanna let you know that I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos, hit that subscribe button, come back. And also if you're just viewing this for the first time, hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with me. And I believe I'm gonna be getting like the community tab option. I think that's what it's called. So look out for that whenever I figure out how to use it. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about Crayola markers, such as the ones here, why I stopped using them, and just give my overall thoughts on them and what I like and dislike about them. I wanna ask you, what are some pens that you use and why do you use them? So just let me know in the comments below. And now with that said, let's go ahead and get into the video. So first off, I wanna talk about what I dislike about Crayola markers. I'm gonna talk about each individually. So the first one, this is just one of the colors that I have left of the Crayola washable. And for some reason I have two yellows, but uh, we want, I'm trying to figure out why. So the first thing that I'll have to say that I dislike about Crayola washables is one, how I live here in South Florida. If you do not keep these in a cool area, they are going to dry out. And another thing that I dislike about them, obviously they're not made for calligraphy. And then another thing I have to say, I just don't like overall the quality of the nib and Another thing is like, yes, these are indestructible, I wouldn't say indestructible, made for children to use, or really whomever. And uh, the nibs, it's not really something easy for people to really get into. And then the paint pens, just really overall, I have to say like the quality, inside and out of all three of these, you're not going to get the same as if you purchase a pen, or let me rephrase that, purchased supplies is actually made for calligraphy. And don't get me wrong, these are cool, but they should not be, this is just from my point of view, they should not be the end all be all of your calligraphy journey you should really focus towards using better supplies than these. Because I say that you deserve better than spending, I'll probably say at the most, maybe 10, $15, I guess, depending on where you shop on all of this. Don't be afraid to make the investment in yourself. As I usually say, as you all see here, I got multiples of, well, more than just a few pens. This is all I have left, honestly. I'm probably not gonna be using these anytime. Honestly, I'm not gonna be using them at all. I'm gonna talk about what I like about Crayola markers and the paint pens. At first, I remember it was just something so new and I had said to myself, like when I first saw it on Instagram, what the? people are doing this type of work using Crayola markers is something cheap that I don't have to that I do not have to order that I can just go to the dollar store drugstore or supermarket and pick it up right away it's not anything crazy expensive and easily accessible and another thing was that I liked is that you did not have to worry about filling these up with ink, the nibs wearing down right away. And then the another thing was, was the paint pens is how they are so good on uh, 
almost lost my th train of thought there. You didn't get me. No, I'm just kidding. But um, these are really good on dark colored paper, like could like a cardstock. There we go. And that's just a few things. And now I'm gonna talk about brands that I'd recommend and pens that I, cause I've tested out a lot and these are ones that I specifically feel that work the best. I'm gonna show you also the pens that I currently have and talk a bit about them in depth as well from when I use them. So the first, I'm gonna show the two that's insanely popular and you probably have seen these already are the Tambo Furunosuke or Soke, how it, however it is pronounced. They have the hard and the soft brush pens. Not expensive, really, really good quality. The build quality is good. I like the matte finish. They feel good in hand. It is not like holding one of these. You could just really feel a difference. And one is obviously made for calligraphy, whatever type of calligraphy you do. You could also use this for more than just calligraphy. So I definitely recommend picking these two up. I purchased these from jetpens.com. And then this one is a bit more advanced, but the brand is made by Pentel. And I believe this one, is it Pentel as well? It may be either Pentel or Zebra. I don't remember, I bought this so long ago. But we're talking about this one. This one is a Pentel sign pen. Requires a heck of a lot more skill because you see how thin the nib is. It's almost like hair. And the quality of this is really, really good. This pen right here, this is a let me show you. This is a highlighter, brush knit or brush point on one end, and then you have the bullet on the other, which this pen is really, really cool. Quality is good. Also, the nib doesn't wear down as instant compared to other ones do. Really, a lot of that from my experience is just how heavy handed you are whenever you're doing your work. And this is, this right here, the Pilot Petite, reminds me of the Crayola Pipsqueak. They are almost, yeah, almost the same size, but this one is a heck of a lot better. And I say that it's better because the way how it feels in hand, also another cool thing is how these are refillable with cartridges. Also, I've had this one, I'd say over maybe two years, used it on various pieces. And as you see, hopefully you can, the nib is still holding up. So that is one reason that this pen is good. You know, another thing, how I was talking about the Crayola markers drying out, this pen does not dry out. Well, let me rephrase that I'm from saying it does not dry out. I'm pretty sure if anything gets hot enough, it'll dry out. But yes, this one has not dried out. And this right here, it is my favorite, favorite brush pen. I just love these. And this is my most, most used one. Back when I used to do a lot more work, a lot more analog work, meaning not using my iPad, nothing digital. And I still use this one. I did a post the other day on my Instagram. If you're not following me there yet, it's Jostin Dooley. Links to all my social media are in the description. So I have, this is the Zig Cocorio, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Cool thing about these pens is that they are cartridge and Whenever you go to purchase these, first thing you're gonna buy, you're gonna purchase is just the body and then you purchase the ink separately. And these come, let me, if I could grab it, give me a second. 
There we go. And they come packaged just like this. Really, really nice. But I have to say, I have had issues with these drying out randomly. I don't really know why, or if it is how that I've stored them. My overall thoughts on Crayola markers, is it a worthy investment? Is it worth spending money on? If you are a person, I'd say that is wanting to experiment and try out different. Let me fix the camera, why does it feel like it's leaning? It is not, that's just my vision. If you're a person that is really wanting to experiment and try out new tools, see which ones work for you, then by all means, go ahead and pick them up. Or if you are a person that is really wanting to take it a bit more serious, go with the, oh my goodness, and I, yeah, go with the pens that I actually, that I showed and that I recommend. The brands are Zebra, Zig, Kuretake, and Pentel. Also, I've seen a few Mitsubishi brush pens, but they're not as common as the ones I just mentioned. And also, if you don't have any questions, as always, just let me know in the comments below. I also want to remind you to don't forget to leave me a like on the video i appreciate you as always for taking the time out of your day to spend some time with me maybe learn a few few things that you didn't know and also don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and i will see you in the next video oh.